Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and it's, this is another Banggood.com review. So I have a um, a set of sort of hex grub screws. These are um, M3 to M8, and on Banggood at the moment, this whole box is seven pounds delivered. Um, please do check below for any links and uh, discount codes. Um, so you see, there's quite a lot of each of those sizes. And I also have a tap and die set, um, which is M3 to M12. Uh, so both being able to um, thread a chamber and also uh, provide outer threads to things too. So, um, and, and there you go, you've got your uh, die set and you've got your tap set here. So if you want to tap a thread and I will be using M4, then you just use this tool here to um, trap the tap in the end, if we get it the right orientation, there you go. So um, yeah, you just screw that nice and tight and then you'll be able to tap, hopefully, a thread into, where's my padlock? This padlock that I've been using um, a drill table and a bench uh, drill press on to drill out the chambers so what I need to do is be very careful to thread uh, these chambers. Now, you can see here that I'm gonna have very little room, very little room to uh, maneuver between these chambers. Um, and it's likely that I'll break through the side walls of the brass. That isn't a big problem. It's just the way things are because uh, M3 is way too small. I can show you that because it will just go straight through. There you go. That's not going to throw anything. Um, so we have to use M4 on this one. Let's have a look what you get in here. So you have all of the dies, M3, 4, uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10, with 12 being there. You also have the corresponding um, taps as well. You can have a look at these ones here. You'll see that they are uh, blunted at one end, and this taper here allows you to set this up into the chamber you're trying to thread, and it'll start cutting around here. So you have to keep it very vertical. Go in, give it a half turn back a quarter, half turn back a quarter, and half turn back a quarter until. Um, we thread it just far enough. I don't want to thread the entire lock chamber. That'd be really, uh, yeah. Well, I don't want to thread a chamber. So we'll just go as deep as we need to to be able to get in um, one of these little grub screws. Isn't that cute? Okay. Nice, okay, so that's the first one. I'm not gonna do um, all five on camera, that'd just be crazy. Um, but I'm just gonna keep going along, trying to thread these up. Um, I don't want these to be so deep, really, so um, just enough to hold this um, in, really. Uh, even if it sticks out a little bit, that is absolutely fine, as far as I'm concerned. I'm not looking for it to be flush, just held in. Okay, um, back in a sec. Okay, so um, that, that took a, a while. Uh, but we did it carefully, and you see that I hopefully you can just see I've threaded just the tops of the chambers using this M4 tap. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the standard pins back in because, you know, this is a, a practice training lock. It's always good to be able to uh, progressively pin this lock with these lovely spools that came with this originally. Now, because I have another lock of this type where I've removed the core, you can see that um, I've got two different keys, and I prefer the bitting on this one. I think it's a bit more challenging. So I pinned this up so that that so the you know it should all work nicely. Um, 
in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, take this key out and we're going to do one pin at a time and load it up. So this is a uh, pin one. That should go straight down. Let's put, you know, let's just put standard pin in pin one and put the spring in. There we go. We'll tidy it up in a minute. Then let's get pin two out. Another key pin. Come back here, you. Make sure he's the right way up. Put him in. Then it's quite easy to uh, just stick spools in all the rest of the chambers. He says, throwing them around. You know, another spring. Oh, put in the wrong chamber. Hopefully, you'll just come back out again. There we go. Got to watch what you're doing, don't you? Then three. A teeny weeny little pin in three, another spool in three, another spring, and four, another spool, another spring, and five. Oh, no driver pin. One, two, three. And uh, just to see how neat those are. I, I actually didn't break through any of these chambers. So I think using the drill press, using that uh, moving drill bench and also being very careful to use a nice sharp brand new um, tap means that we actually have a lock which I, I don't, I've actually not loaded this up yet so I really hope it works. Um, I'll tighten these up in a second. There might be a bit of debris in the lock which might mean it doesn't work straight away but we'll, uh, we'll try that. So when you're putting these in because these are a hardened um, steel, you've got to be a bit careful to make sure you don't cross thread them as you put them in, otherwise what you'll end up doing is you'll end up ruining the lovely threading that we put in um, just a second ago. So it doesn't feel it's going in straight, back off and just let it go in sort of naturally. You can always um, straighten them up later, but yeah, whatever you do, don't uh, cross thread these things. They should go in quite easily. If they don't go in easily, um, then just un undo it and come back to it. As you tighten these down, they will slowly eat their way into um, uh, the brass as it goes anyway. So um, only do them sort of finger tight. They, they don't need at all to go in um, much tighter than that. And don't worry if they're sticking out a bit. Again, that really doesn't matter. It's just enough to hold them in. Um, so make sure until they stop sort of naturally. Um, the only one which isn't playing ball is three. Undo him slightly. Give a little uh, blow. Clean out some of those threads. And try again. That's good. Excellent. Right. Perfect. Then look at that. Very neat. Like I said, um, it's better to leave them out a little bit. As you use this, it will, um, that as, as you tighten them up a bit tighter, they'll actually uh, tap their way further down into the chambers anyway. Um, so better to leave them out a little bit. Uh, I, so this might work. It does. So you've got all the, the key pins in. You can see them there. And we now have a, a practice lock. So, um, on Banggood at the moment, I don't really think I said, but the tap and die set is £17. Uh, I've had a play around with it um, on a few little bits and bobs, and I have to say that it works just really well. Yeah, I'm really pleased with it. I, I don't 
I mean, I'm not an engineer, so I don't use one of these all the time, but I can't really think of anything that I would um, change on this. I, I think it's um, it's pretty nice, actually. So yeah, uh, £17. Please look in the description below for any discounts. And the... Um, little grub screw set again seven pounds delivered i think that's a pretty fair price too and well you know there's not much to really say about those um other than yeah grub screws yay um but i'm yeah pretty pleased with that so this is the end of the project and i think that really we should give this lock away shouldn't we i i don't really need another uh progressively pinned padlock uh, and this one's a particularly nice version even if i do say so myself so um i think that this should go to a good home if you'd like to have this uh padlock and set of keys naturally so that you can have a go at practicing very good for a beginner or just good for your collection actually because uh these other set padlocks are really nice with their little logo so if you'd like one please like subscribe comment below read the rules whatever you do read the rules and um, I'll do a draw in a week or so's time. And if you are the lucky winner, then I'll send this to you wherever you are in the world. Okay, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed my little project and I'll see you next time.